Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Emma Gallagher. And I'm Deegan Kelly. And welcome to the Valentine's Day special of Prime Time at Power Time. to show to you today. First, here is the weekly winter weather with the reporter Maria Murphy. Happy Valentine's Day HMS. I'm Maria Murphy here with your lovely weather report. Saturday will have a range of 14 degrees overnight and 38 degrees during the day. And for all you winter lovers, I'm happy to say that it'll be snowing. Hopefully we can enjoy it while it lasts. Sunday, on the other hand, changes dramatically to a partly sunny outlook. The temperature will drop down to 32 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and will carry on throughout the rest of the week. So although the snowfall doesn't last, we're still able to take pleasure in the last remains of winter. This is Maria Murphy signing off. Back to you. Hopefully we have enough snow to get school off. Next, let's see how Lodge and Renew for a one-time special with Hailey Francois about talking about Black History Month. Hello, HMS. I bet you didn't know that this month is Black History Month, or National African and American Month. And it's okay. Do you know what's it for? Well, I'm Ridu, and I'm Lodra, and we're here to tell you all about it. First off, it's easy to point out that it stands up to his name by the black in this title. This celebration is for commemorating African Americans. And recognize the achievements they have made in the past. Remember Martin Luther King? He made a big difference in our world by standing up for his culture during the Civil Rights Movement as did many others like Rosa Parks, Jackie Robinson, Langston Hughes, and even today, we are seeing changes in our ethnicity from Barack Obama's election in being the first black president of the United States. These are the kind of people that have generated the idea of having the time, a fear to remember what they have done originally. It started off as Negro History Month week. Today, it is National Commemoration. I'm Lodja. And this is Mido. Back to you. Uh, my name is Harley Francois. I'm in Ms. Calhoun's first period classroom. I'm going to be reading the poem, Merry Go Round by Langston Hughes. Where is the Jim Crow section on this merry go round, mister? Because I want to ride. Down south where I come from, white and color can't sit back side by side. Down south on the train, there's a Jim Crow car. On the bus, we're put in the back. But there ain't no back to a merry go round. Where's the horse for a kid that's black? That was really interesting. Now we go to Student Spotlight. Hi, I'm Hannah. And I'm Alexa. And this week's Student Spotlight is, what does Valentine's Day mean to you? Valentine's Day is about love. I think Valentine's Day means caring about your friends and expressing those feelings. I think Valentine's Day means um, showing love for people you care for. Valentine's to me is a day where everyone gets together, has fun, laughs, doesn't romance. What does Valentine's Day mean to you, Hannah? I think it means to show care to others with love. Being nice to others. And happiness. Valentine's Day to me means like to make somebody be happy and love them. Getting candy from strangers. Woo! Yeah. Oh, about like being with the person you like, I guess. Valentine means to me love, FTD, and Hallmark. Valentine's Day is more to like express your feelings to your loved one. Valentine's means that you something that you love, like Angry Bird Seasons. And to celebrate a day with the people you love. So, what does Valentine mean to me? Friends. Now we go to Anna with photo of the week. 
Hey guys, I'm Anna T. Mack with this week's Photo of the Week. Last week's photo by Laura Saunders is now renamed Pony Express and is in our Photo of the Week archives. This week's photo by Hannah Studen is a black and white cityscape of NYC. That's right, the Big Apple. What do you guys think? Well, if you send in a winning title, then you will get a Hershey's chocolate bar. So remember to email them to primetime1powertime at hotmail.com. That's primetime1powertime at hotmail.com. See you next time. Now we go to Miss Heiberg's class for an inside look at the HMS's very own literary magazine, The Draft. Hello, I'm Jack Norcross, and today we'll be uh, interviewing the Power Time, the Draft. And uh, our teacher that is in charge of the draft is our uh, very own Mrs. Heiberg. Hi everybody. Um, well, we're here to tell you about the draft. We want to make sure that you realize it's not just a power time group, it's everybody in the whole school. This is your magazine. It's for your artwork, it's for your poems, your short stories, your scary stories. Um, Annika's, Annika will tell us a little bit about it now. Hi, I'm Annika. The school's magazine is, uh, has a lot of artwork and poems, even jokes in it. It, we accept a lot of things, pictures, drawings even. You can even submit anime, comics, whatever. The, if you want to submit it, you go to the cafeteria or sometimes, I think there's one in, in the um, library, there's one here. The, you take a form, you fill it out, you staple your artwork to it or put the artwork with it and put it in the box or hand it to a teacher, Good, depending on how big it is. Uh, the draft doesn't accept all entries. So most of them do, are accepted, and then they're put into this really cool magazine. We have lots of stuff in here, and it, I think it's extremely cool. Okay, thank you, Anago. And we are now go over to Tommy, who is going to talk about the writing portion of the draft. Tommy? Hello, everybody. Um, I would really like to say that a lot of people think that writing is stupid or something you just do for school, but if you try it you'll probably end up really liking it and if you do and you think it's good please submit it to the draft so everyone can enjoy it as well and uh, last we'll go over to Elisa who's gonna uh, talk uh, mostly about our artwork on the draft we have all kinds of artwork like on the cover there's geese flying um, if you look inside there's a lot of great pictures by a lot of students from last year like um, Oh, oops. It's kind of hard to make out, but it's a volcano and erupting and a river and some hills, mountains in the background. And it's all kinds of different drawings. It doesn't really matter what it is. Um, there's a girl swinging from a tree um, on this page. Um, and here, there's a dragon in pencil it's kind of hard to see and here on the back there's also a tree and it was done by Aniko and, um, and it's a really great experience drawing for the draft that's what I do um, and it's really good and I hope you guys will do it too all right and we're going to come back over here to Miss Heiberg and Miss Heiberg um, has a couple of contests coming up uh, for uh, the draft magazine. Um, Miss Heiberg would you like to tell us about these uh, contests? Sure so we want to get you guys starting to write and draw for us so we're going to have several contests the first one will be a poetry contest um, it'll start in about a week you'll have a week to turn in a submission and we'll have more than one winner uh, we're still figuring out what our prizes will be after the poetry contest we're going to have an art contest uh, we'll also have short stories and then finally we'll have a manga cartoon contest Amazing. Uh, those are great opportunities uh, for everybody at HMS. And um, uh, what time of year does the draft magazine come out? It comes out at uh, the end of the year, actually the same day as the yearbook. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I heard that has some really cool stuff on that. Um, have you ever written anything in there? No, but I've read some pretty interesting stuff this year. I've ex I especially like Search for Flight, Flight with Meg Not. Here it is. A bird that flies is a lucky one, for I don't fly at all. I can jump into the air, but I can't soar. I'm grounded. I mean literally. I'm stuck in the ground with no way to the heavenly skies. 
I'm always on the same thing. Land. Just land. But one day, I'll fly. Now we have a special music guest, Joey Rudek. Next week is Valentine's Day. Remember to wear red. Once again, I'm Emma. And I'm Deegan, signing off for this week's Prime Time at Power Time. Tune in next week for some more exciting stuff.